Hi! This tutorial is for a um, two-in-one or a similar scarf that is quite thin but long and um, a sari scarf or a sari sash. doesn't really matter as long as it is something like this. This is the blue, a blue one. It's not from Rapunzel but they have pretty similar ones. I tied the two-in-one just with a regular knot. You want to make sure you, you do tie it with a knot even though if you're not used to it, um, in this style you really need it. I'll tell you later why. I tied it with two equal lengths, like this. And I'm wearing the um, Ultimate Volumizer from Rapunzel. You could do it with a Wendy as well. I just wanted a, a little bit less volume. Choose the side of the sari you want to wear. Um, usually I try to Choose a side that has the folds going backwards because that's neater to wrap. And um, I like the flower part. Put it on. One side sh really short and one side a little bit longer. And I'll leave a little bit of the um, other color visible. And then you tie it under the knot that you just made like so. What you want to make sure is that the knot of the sari scarf or sash actually ties with the short end going up, like I just did. See how it goes up? Because you want to take that short part and spread it out, fan it out, and then tuck it in in the back. Pretty much like um, other tutorial on sorry, how to cover your whole head with it. It's on the Rapunzel website, I'll show you. That's how you cover your back if needed. You can leave it and just tuck it in if you want, but I, I like it covered. See, so you can see the pattern on the back as well. So now we have the two equal lengths and then one really long tail. So what I want to do is I want to fold these two to one side. And then I'll take the sari, choose the pattern again, make it neat, and then I'm going to fold it over like so. I do like these flowers, so I hope you can see it. It's a bit bright in there, but you get the idea. And then fold it underneath everything. And then you got a little bit left. You can either squeeze it through here. That's what I did with one. And it's it's pretty sturdy. Or you can tuck it in, but because the sari scarves are usually a bit slippery, that might be a bit of a risk. Make sure the folds are nice and neat. So these two, I basically just twist them like so all the way to the end. Now I gotta do the other one, so I have to put this in my mouth. And then I'll twist them together, like so. So basically the reason you want to tie this one in a knot is that you can actually use that little piece of sari to go in between the knots to cover the back of your head. And I think it looks nicer that way. 
So now I've got this one finished. I'll just scoop it over, over my bun. I can pull it a bit because of the fringes. And then I'll just um, tuck it in. And there you have it. I kind of do like the little fringes here. Um, I kind of folded this scarf not completely equal, but that's okay. Try to tuck it in as well. And um, there you have it, your crown with a sari scarf and a little side, or if you don't want that, you can tuck it in. I'll show you the back again. It's very comfortable and